Hello, I'm Fenton Kenilworth, and welcome back to Cleveland and the Antique Roadshow. Yes, yes, yes. I'm sitting here with, with Miss Betsy Williams, who's, who's brought in a wonderful, wonderful piece for us. Now, tell us, Betsy, how did you acquire this exquisite dress? Okay, it's an heirloom. And according to family history, my great-grandfather purchased it right after the Civil War. Well, I should say that you're quite lucky to, to inherit such a wonderful piece. Look at it. It's lovely. Look at this, Betsy. But do you have any idea what this is? Uh, no, I, I, I don't know. I just thought it was an old dress. No, no, Betsy. I want you to take a look at this label on the inside, see? This says Belmont Brothers, you see. And in the 19th century, the Belmont Brothers was a firm that was notorious for designing clothes ex Exclusively for cross-dressers. Yes. What are you saying? That my great-grandfather wore women's clothes? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Now, observe the shoulders. See, they're much, much too wide for a real woman, you see, but perfect for that of a man. See, your, your great-grandfather, you see, purchased this dress for himself, and I should say, he does have superb taste. <laughs> no, 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 no. My, my great-granddaddy wasn't a, a drag queen. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, Betsy, your great-grandfather was, was not a drag queen. Your, your great-grandfather was the first African-American drag performer in vaudeville. Yes, that's right. <laughs> but around those parts, he was much better known by his stage name, which was Carol Ann. You see. Oh, no, no, no. My great-grandfather's name wasn't Carol Ann. Oh, yes, yes. You see, back in those days, the African-American performers were not earning as much as the vaudevillian performers, so your grandfather, like many other African-American vaudevillians, used to make extra money by whoring, you see. <laughs> yes, he would, yes, he would orally service Chinese rail workers. Now, I say Chinese rail workers... No, 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 don't, they, don't, don't tell me that my great-grandfather was a whore. Oh, oh. Well, I should say, I suppose you don't want me to tell you how much this dress is worth either. I don't care. I don't want it. You, you can have it. Well, thank you, Betsy. Because I should say that if you were to auction this dress today, you would easily fetch upwards of $12,000 for it. So thank you. $12,000? Yes. Well, give me back my great-granddaddy Carol Ann's dress. I mean, I was, I was thinking about giving it to you, but I didn't say I was going to give it to you. Well, I should, I should say, Betsy, whatever you do with that dress, don't loan it out to any cross-dressing vaudevillian horse. horse. You shan't see it again. You won't see it ever again. No horse. <laughs> 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 oh, yes. Horse. Well done, Fenton. We'll be back shortly with another segment of the Antique Rojo. <laughs> <laughs> 